So when you make adventuring videos and mountain biking videos like I do, your main workhorse of a camera is going to be an action camera like these. One thing that is awful is wearing these stupid things. So today we're going to compare and see what's the best way to wear them in terms of comfort and in terms of picture. Today we're going to be looking at the Hero 4 Plus versus the latest GoPro flagship model, the Hero 9. Now, the game-changing difference between the older cameras and the new cameras for me is built-in video stabilization. So check this out. So there are a few different ways to capture mountain biking footage, and here are the three that I've been tinkering with, right? A very common one to use is a chest mount, right? So this is my Hero 3 Plus on here, and this chest mount just goes as you think it would right here, and it gets some pretty good POV stuff. The only problem with this, though, is it can be restricting on you when you're like, you know, when you're, when you're breathing a lot and it's just kind of on you, but it's really not that bad. Well, it's not that bad until you use one of these. This is a gimbal. Now, this gimbal is for action cameras and it sits right here on my chest mount, right? Now, this is what I use when I want to get the absolute best quality footage right here. So it, it gives stabilization right there. No matter where I move, the camera is stable. And this was, you know, this was kind of considered the best for a while until these new image stabilization cameras came out. And now what a lot of people do is put the camera on their full face helmet like this. And my goal today is to figure out what is the best way to film mountain bike footage, right? Because you don't want to sacrifice quality for comfort, but you don't want to sacrifice comfort for quality. So which one is the best all around? Well, there might not be a clear cut winner, but there are certainly losers. So with that, let's get started. All right, so when we're going to test these out, we're going to one of my local trails. It's very, uh, very short trails, pretty public park, not anything too crazy. But since I was going to have to carry all this equipment around, I wanted to just be able to go to my truck uh, in between runs and not have to go a crazy long distance carrying all this stuff. So this is uh, the trail we're going to be doing here. It's a very short run. I think it's about 30 seconds each time. We start at the top, go down, fairly mellow. Um, as you can see right here, there is a little, little bit of jumpage. You can get jumpage, that's not a word, but there's that pipe you can uh, kind of pop up on there's that um that little bridge there you can pop up on you know again pretty pretty mild trail but it's got enough to really kind of show you how these cameras handle various things uh, but but not like you know tables or, or, or gap jumps or anything so uh, the first one we're looking at here this is the GoPro 4 plus um, without any kind of stabilization no go no gimbal this is just right on the chest and as you can see it's pretty shaky uh, I, I would not quite classify it as unwatchable but it is certainly not pleasing to look at um, and one thing you'll notice as well is, is um, the colors between the older and new cameras are very different too uh, but yeah, that's that's just basic nothing. Now this one right here, this is with the gimbal. Uh, this is still a very very solid image. It's buttery smooth with the gimbal. You know, it it's and I think this is actually also the fastest run I did here too. So it not only does the gimbal make it look faster, but I think I actually just did this run faster. So take that with a grain of salt. But again, it still looks great. It's very smooth. And this is what I've been recording with for a while, uh, you know, up until I got this camera. So that is one potential issue, though. There is the drift around corners if, you, if, if a gimbal doesn't quite pick up on your turn. So now we're starting out with the GoPro Hero 9. Now this is kind of an unexpected uh, great film that, that I, I didn't really expect the one just on the chest to do so well, but it looks great. Um, you know, this, with no stabilization, it rivals that of the gimbal. Of course, it's not quite as smooth, but it's certainly not shaky or jittery like the, um, the, the 4 Plus with no stabilization. That's very watchable. Um, and now we're going to start on the 9 with the helmet cam here. Now, I just want to point out as well, disclaimer, this is my first time using this on the head cam, so the angle is not quite right. It needs to be down a little bit. But this one is very immersive, in my opinion, because it shows exactly where the head is. And you'll see as it comes down here around this corner here in just a second, you actually lean into the corner more. So right here, see he's leaning over, and, and the, the camera itself is actually over the corner, whereas the bike is, is on the trail, of course. Uh, and just for reference sake, here's all of them side by side, uh, and I try to sync them up as best I can, but the times aren't quite the same, so. Uh, and as they, you know, the, you can see the color difference here as well. The newer ones just have very vibrant colors, uh, and I did, I did correct these in post for both, and I was just playing around with whatever colors I could do. But regardless of that, they are more vibrant in the newer cameras, but they're still very, very smooth. The top left, of course, is obviously the weakest, um, but you know, with the the nine, it just in general, with and without the the helmet is is uh, is, is very good. Um, the gimbal, again, is still really, really smooth, and I don't think it quite is as good as the gimbal, the, the, the stabilization on the 9, 
but it's still great. And honestly, since it's so much more comfortable wearing that instead of the gimbal, um, you know, if I have a full face helmet, like if I'm riding park or something, I'm going to use that. And if I'm riding, you know, just cr just trails without a full face helmet, I'm just going to strap the thing on to the chest mount and go from there because it was great looking. It was very watchable and it was very comfortable. The helmet is, if you have a good full face helmet, then it's very comfortable to wear also. Um, but if you don't, of course, you know, it is gonna be better without that. So in terms of comfort, the with no gimbal on the chest mount is the most comfortable um, and the helmet mount is also the most, those two are very close. Uh, it just, it all depends on if you like your full face helmet or not. So. You know, let me know what you guys think in the comments because it's all really up for debate and that was, um, you know, that, those are my thoughts on it. And there you have it. Those are my thoughts on those. I hope that was helpful seeing them side by side. It doesn't really matter what camera you use in the end as long as you're out there having fun and doing what you love making videos. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. Be sure to check out my other ones and subscribe to see more content coming soon and I will see you next time.